Hey, I'm Bruce Cook, and we're going to be making my first uh, pepper eating video of the 2024 season. So I was at uh, a Publix grocery store earlier, uh, just picking up some groceries. I picked up some habaneros. Uh, it was like a couple hours ago, and I just thought to myself, while I had the habaneros, why not make a uh, pepper eating video, video out of one of these things? So give you a close up. It's a really, really good uh, looking habanero. Just a store bought. No, so, and I'm sorry I haven't uploaded any uh, like pepper eating or hot sauce, but you know review videos uh, in a while. Just uh, kind of limited on ideas right now. <coughs> I've uh, already reviewed most of uh, all what I have, so I'm gonna be eating this and just letting you know what I think. Um, I believe my tolerance right now is higher coming into this season of eating peppers. Uh, you know, since I've had a lot of hot sauce that came from uh, my huge harvest uh, back in 2023, I've been able to indulge in things uh, where the previous seasons um, I would come into the next pepper eating, you know, pepper pod season with uh, not so much a high tolerance. Like I was giving ghost peppers like three out of tens and uh, scorpion peppers like four or five or six out of ten and stuff like that. Um, uh, I think even my uh, my first habaneros I would eat uh, in the beginning of those seasons, if it was my first pepper of the season, <clears throat> I know these things have got me up to like a two or three, but not sure if this is going to get me that high since uh, I, mean, I already have actually eaten a few of these since I came back from the grocery store. I had chicken and I was just uh, <clears throat> taking a uh, bite, eating half the pepper with each bite of uh, chicken, so I've already wolfed down like six or seven of these things, so that probably is going to sabotage my tolerance as well. So, But hopefully just eating the whole pepper straight up by itself will uh, give me a nice little burn. So I'm going to pop the stem off this thing. Give me one last look at it. So here we go. Uh, my first pepper of the season is an orange habanero. Man, I love these things. They're so sweet. Just uh, full of juice. I got a tiny bit of bitterness, but a lot of sweet, a lot of sweet, sweet sweetness. I feel all the seeds in there floating around. I think I got all of that down. So for uh, for heat, it's just that right now it's just a little tiny tingle. Um, I'm getting a tiny bit underside of my tongue. I, I can't give it a one just yet. It's just a little tingle. It's got got me producing a lot of saliva though. So it's just it has that typical habanero uh, type burn to it. It's kind of a slight stingy, fiery uh, feel. Um, it's under it's mostly on the underside of my tongue, a little bit on the top of the tongue. Uh, I think I might be able to give the other side of my tongue a 1 out of 10. Um, the, top, the top of my tongue, I'm feeling it, is like right in the middle, in the front. But, I mean, right now it's just a tingle. It's not like burning. The other side of my tongue, I think I can, I can give it a 1 out of 10. And I'm actually feeling it on the side of my lips uh, right here, too. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Uh, and... I'm actually feeling a little bit of endorphins. I'm starting to feel, uh, I just got a feeling of warmth uh, go through my head and all throughout my body. It's from a habanero. <laughs> I mean, this is the first time I've eaten a uh, pepper, at least on camera. First time I've eaten a pepper since, uh, I don't know, maybe November, December. Last year, I think the last time I ate uh, any whole peppers on video, I think I was on. Uh, uh, Johnny Small Peppers uh, live streams on um, YouTube. I think I ate some uh, dried peppers with him. So that was quite a while ago, but I didn't save any of my pepper plants, uh, you know, over the winter. So uh, I didn't have any, you know, peppers to pick off the plants because I discarded them all. Because I just don't have the room in my uh, bedroom to be saving gigantic plants anymore. Because most of those plants. At least the ones in the two gallon containers were averaging between like three to, you know, I even had a couple plants that were 
almost six feet tall last year. I did it before because I didn't have this grow box up here. I didn't have my computer desk right here. So now I have this here and uh, just don't have uh, the room in my bedroom so I do that. A little itty bitty of a heartburn feeling. Uh, the heat's actually uh, died down quite a bit uh, that was under my tongue. I'm just uh, left with a uh, tingle all over, so. Uh, I still got some chunks floating around in there. Uh, that's a big seed. Yeah, I was hiding behind my uh, back molar. <laughs> um, boy, the heat state, the little bit of heat I got is like dying down to almost nothing. I can feel that I ate a pepper. Just, you know, the overall tingly feeling in my mouth, but. But yeah, I, I can definitely tell my uh, tolerance has stayed up very high, you know, during this winter compared to, you know, the past seasons. Because I just, I have so much hot sauce and, uh, you know, the extract that I made, that's going a long ways. So, but, yeah, I guess that'll be the video. So, it actually made, uh, made it to, just barely made it to a 1 out of 10, just under my tongue. So, but... Anyways, yeah, that was uh, my first pepper of the season, the habanero. So, um, I'm not sure um, what I have for any ideas uh, for the next video, but as soon as something comes to mind, I'll, uh, I'll try to get it on video. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, I will see you in the next one.